Darzone back at it again from the great land of Italia, Italy, the boot. And he's bringing us a recall box image with the most recent version of recall box, which is going to work for the Raspberry Pi 3B and B plus. And let me tell you, this one is a, a nether, you know, it's a very purpose built image. That's why I got my Puma Pi arcade stick out here. And uh, it's a little shoe box with arcade with arcade buttons in there if you want to see that video i highly recommend checking it out but i thought i had to break it out for this video because it's a purpose-built recall box image and before we jump into it why you should care is a recall box is way easier to use in my opinion than retro pi is and b it has over 2,000 games and c it has very very speedy boot times on here. I'm very, very impressed by this. I'm just using a standard Sandus Ultra, and man, is this thing booting up, moving around really fast. It is nice. Bezels, um, It's it's got the uh, some of the bells and whistles you're gonna want. And then with uh, Recall Box, you get these little add-on things, you know, easy to get into controller settings, easy to turn on, it comes with background music. I turned it off for this video, but easy to just go to sound settings, right here, sound settings, and you can just literally turn off and on the um sound that easy so as far as easeability you know raspberry pi gets a lot of flack for that you know it's not that easy but in this video we got an easy one for you arcade games those are gonna be your daphne uh final burn alpha mame games neo geo optimized and perfect for a bar top but even if you just want to you know play it on a normal monitor or your big screen tv um really really nice As far as file size, it's about 12.2 gigabytes when it's RARD or unzipped. And once you unzip it with 7-zip, which is what I highly recommend, you should be left with an IMG file that has is 14.8 gigabytes. It's going to be 15,931,540,000 bytes. That was me rounding it up. And uh, it's plug and play. Uh, one thing we do need to do is set up this arcade stick. Now, I could have just plugged in the arcade stick to start, uh, but I didn't do that. But now I just plugged it in after this Xbox 360 controller is all set up. Right now I'm using Xbox 360 Rock Candy, and this is all set up. My arcade stick is not. I think if I click a button though, that just sit triggered off like, hey, there's a gamepad here, and I don't know which one it is. So now I can just hold down any button. And um, here we go. Has your dragon wise now. And what we're gonna do is up, down, left, right. And then here you could just skip these, go down. And then I do um, A, B, X, Y, uh, start, select, L, R, L, R, skip, skip, select. Hey, now we're in the business. So uh, what's on here? Total MAME games, 1,375. Total Neo Geo games, 147. Uh, Daphne games, I think it's three. Final Burn Alpha, 609. All right, so about 2,000 games total, as you see. Um, let's just start off with a Neo Geo title here. Arrow Fighters. Let's do three, because two you can play on Super Nintendo. So let's play this one. And uh, we should be able to use this stick. It's going to be a little clickety clack, especially because I have the microphone right next to the. Uh, okay, so select tokens. You can see you have 24 tokens, 33 tokens. I just put in $5 worth of tokens, didn't spend a penny. All right, and then we can go ahead and just pick up the plane. Plane is picked, and uh, how to play, left, right, A button shot, remember we're going B, A, so this is, okay, so this is going to be shoot, this is special, according to the, oh, whoops, never mind, I have my buttons backwards, so there goes the Eiffel Tower, I think, or I want to be at Eiffel Tower, but look at this, nice, Be done, Except for that part, you didn't see that. It never happened. I don't know how that tank is still shooting bullets. As I, whoa, that I'm gonna call BS on the computer here. It's 
look at what's building. These are just standard buttons, nothing. Ooh, power up. Now we're talking, let's get some L over here. I need an L. Okay. He's flashing. That's a good sign. Nice. Yes. Oh boy, he's still moving. He's not dead. Oh, I moved the camera. My bad. Let's try some drift out. Alright, here we go. For reals this time. Number one. Here we go. Oh. Alright, here's the problem. Is some of these turn... Okay, that means tight. Okay, there's... A... It's just the... Mm -hmm. Wow. Those long lines are definitely longer than you think. Seeing that one seemed a lot longer than it should have been. Nice. That was good. That was good. That was decent. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Oh, no, we're not. Yes, we are. Boom. Finish. This might not be amazing, but fun game. That's, oh, I mean, obviously the one for PlayStation runs and looks a lot better, but this is classic arcade over here. I can't dog on this. Six. Here we go. Fifth. Took out. Almost took out fifth. And fourth. Third. Forty-three seconds left. We got a podium. Not bad. Your final burn alpha games. I think a lot of you are really going to like those. I mean, those are really your big highlight games, your Street Fighters, um, Bubble Bobble, Cadillacs, Dinosaurs. Awesome game right there. Um, all these games I, I could vouch for. These cookie and BB games, just like uh, Bubble Bobble as well. Uh, Darius games, Dick Doug, uh, Don Pachi, really, really fun. Dungeons and Dragons, amazing. And then we get into the Street Fighters, which I know a lot of you are going to like. Galaga, Galaxian, Gauntlet, Ghouls and Ghosts, Gunbird, Gunbird 2. Um, so these are to me where I would spend the majority of my time Joe and Mac on this image but you know some of you like some of those really classic arcade games and those are going to be in MAME as well uh, Marvel vs. Capcom I know a lot of you are stoked for that really good with a stick like this uh, Marvel Super Heroes Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter um, you know some racing games OutRun uh okay so that's uh it's not pornographic here but do know that there is some adult games on here so fyi raiden raiden 2 rockman shinobi is on here Highly recommend playing, spending some time on that. So all the Snow Bros. There you go. The Street Fighters, the Zeros. Nice. So if you want, you know, really, you have just like a little SD card sitting around at home. This could definitely be the one. Tetris. Wow. A lot of games. 
some shooting games. I don't have a light gun, but you can definitely get a light gun. Vampire Savior on here, Vampire Hunter, really good fighting games. Wonder Boy 1, 2, and 3. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, X-Men Children of the Atom, and then Zero Wing. Um, and then we'll do MAME really quick. You hit select to, to jump to the beginning, for example. You can go to 1, 2, 3. And there we are in 800. So 88 games, Airwolf, Aliens 1, 2, Alien Syndicate, and then 2 and Aliens, and then Alien 3. Um, there's a lot of games here. So I'm just going to scroll it up. While it's scrolling to keep this video not too long. So I'll give you my final thoughts as I'm uh, scrolling through here. Um, Dar Zone, DZ for short. Definitely know what he's, what he's doing. He's definitely made quite a few images. I have to say, this hasn't been totally gone through, though. I'm already finding a few mistakes. For example, bezel's not fitting, or a couple of the games just not quite working right, or maybe it's just the wrong ROM for this particular version of MAME that's booting up in it. Um, just little things like that. It's, you know, it's, it's a 90 to 95% done image. Uh, it's one of those top tier images. You're always going to find something broken. You know, I found quite a you know, a feud right off the bat. I imagine I'd find some more the more time I spent with this image. But, um, you know, for the most part, as I mentioned, 90 to 95%. So I can totally recommend this image. There's been a few other arcade only images, especially for Recall Box. However, they've all been for the older version Recall Box, and you can't just upgrade them. Um, there, it's not that easy. So this being one of the new version of Recall Box that works for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, which a lot of my viewers have. Trust me, I've received messages where they download the image like, hey, it's not booting up on a Raspberry Pi. I'm like, well, which one do you have? The 3B plus or the 3B? They're like, oh, B plus, what can I do? I'm like, well, you can't actually do anything because you know you can't even upgrade those. Um, so it's uh, Marble Madness if you have a trackball, highly, really fun game. Um, you can't just upgrade them. It's not that they're not that easy, unfortunately. So now that we have an arcade only build, a lot of people are gonna like this. Especially because, you know, you can buy a classic Nintendo. You can buy a classic Genesis or a Wii or a Wii U and uh, play all that stuff on there. Um, it's really hard to buy an arcade cabinet though. <laughs> they're huge, they're bulky. They only play a few games. So to have an this is really where I think emulation is the way to go because there really is only one uh, other way besides getting the original hardware. And the original hardware is bulky, big, hard to get, rare. And so, you know, a lot of people are forced to go in this direction. The other thing is it's fun. It's a really fun project to build a little bar top or arcade cabinet with your kids or by yourself or for your spouse or whatever you're doing it for. Um, it's a lot of fun, just like me building this little um, arcade stick here. You can build a, a much nicer one, make it out of wood. Uh, make it have a riser set to it have more buttons have a two-player have a three-player have a four-player main cabinet you can really um, have fun and create a work of art in those regards um, now obviously if you're been around my channel quite a bit there's these super images that have all these arcade games plus you know 8,000 plus other titles and you know 20 plus systems so you can absolutely go for those um, but something about the Raspberry Pi is it's very affordable, it's cheap, and, um, you know, being the 16 gigabyte image, you know, a 16 gigabyte SD card now is like $5. You know, you can almost, they're like Tic Tacs at this point. You know, you just, they're so cheap and, and prevalent and easy to get. Uh, and even a 32 gigabyte is as well. So um, I think there's definitely a need for something like this. And um, so that's really cool. Um, the other thing is MAME sets. It's hard to find like a complete MAME set all working and everything else. And like I said, it's 95% working. Um, it's pretty much all there. And uh, for all those reasons, final grade. I'll give this one an A-. minus. Um, I would have given it an A, but a couple things broken on it. Um, but as far as visually, A. As far as purpose built, A. As far as going through the image, make sure everything is working. That's where I might have given it a B or B plus, which would overall lower the grade to about an A minus. All that aside, you know, up to date, working well, and uh, yeah, I haven't mentioned this yet. It, it or I mentioned in the beginning of the video, super fast. 
the load times and boot times, especially with MAME, those tend to be a little bit longer, you know, you still do have to, you know, go through the boot up cycle that a lot of the ROMs have in the beginning of them, you can't really get around that. But as far as starting, 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 stopping the pie, uh, clicking on a game from when the ROM actually does load, super fast, really, really good. And, you know, I like the, the easeability of Recall Box. So it has a lot of things going for it. Really good to see. I'm liking it. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.